I'm Stan Prusner. I'm a professor of neurology and biochemistry at the University of California, San Francisco. I had started doing some scientific research when I was a third year undergraduate student. I enjoyed the hunt. I enjoyed the solution to the problem and writing it up and publishing it. I just thought this was a fascinating way to earn a living and actually get paid to do crossword puzzles. I would say that the biggest achievement besides my children and my nine-year-old grandson was the discovery of prions. It wasn't a eureka moment where I'm dancing up and down and everything is solved. It was a slow, continuous collection of data. Prions cause proteins to change their shape and then accumulate. Bad prions are like those causing the generation of the brain, resulting in Alzheimer's disease and in Parkinson's disease. I spend every day thinking about how to develop medicines for these diseases. My dream is that these will be diseases which, for which we can give people pills, and these pills will work, and they will stop the prions from being made. There were lots of people who said to me, Stan, prions are a bad idea. And one of my friends said, you know, I think you should stop working on prions until you get tenure, because you might not get tenure if you keep working on this. And I said, well, I gotta keep going. I received the Nobel Prize for the discovery of prions. Receiving the Nobel Prize was really a wonderful event, and I recommend it to everybody. You should not turn it down. Don't be like Bob Dylan. And when I was there and I received the prize, several of the committee members said to me, well, we hope this helps your funding. And I think now it's beginning to work. It took, took another 20 years. <laughs> I was fortunate enough to be able to follow my passion and to work on this problem for 40 years and never find it uninteresting. Always excited by the next step, the next discovery. I'm so thrilled to be here to receive the honorary doctorate at Ben Gurion University. I have a very big spot in my heart for Israel. This is a wonderful event for me.